So it's Friday, 11.30ish, and I've got lunch going already for the kids. And I love doing stuff like this on Friday because um, I'm making like a roast. Um, that'll be dinner tonight and probably lunch tomorrow. Just makes life so easy when Hector's home. I don't have to be in the kitchen. We can just warm up the food and eat. And there might even be some left for um, Sunday lunch. So I like making big meals like this on Fridays to just make the weekend feel more like a weekend. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm using a Dutch oven because I'll be putting it in the oven for about five hours. Just get some olive oil. I would say two to three tablespoons of olive oil in your pot and then just put it to medium to start heating up. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna cut up a whole onion, a whole um, green pepper. If you have red, do some red too. I've got like a handful of cilantro and two big uh, garlic cloves, two large garlic cloves. And then you're also gonna need olives, a can of tomato sauce, and if you have white wine, some white wine, but if not, it's delicious without it as well. It changes the experience a lot with the white wine but it's still so good. You could also add garbanzo beans if you wanted, a can of garbanzo beans, um, which makes it delicious as well. I do, I switch it up every time. Today I'm not using red pepper, I'm using wine. I don't have any garbanzos. So this is today's recipe. Um, so I'm gonna cut all this up while that heats and then I'm gonna sear my roast. So I got a almost three pound beef roast organic from the farmer's market and um, I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper and garlic powder and then sear it in that warm olive oil. You want to be pretty liberal in seasoning because it's gonna be a big pot of sauce so it'll all distribute throughout later. And then you can always taste and add more if you need to um, into the directly into the sauce. But you want the meat itself to have good flavor. So this is one side seasoned. Flip it over. Salt. Pepper. And I never used to understand why they would say to sear the meat first, but now I know it's to trap all the juices in it. So that oil's probably ready. And I'm gonna sweep all the seasonings in there. <laughs> wash my hands. So I'm going to sear it on one side for about three, four minutes and then flip it over to the other. So I just flipped the meat.